Why being an entrepreneur is easier than being an employee. A few days ago, my company announced on Facebook that we had 8 vacant positions. We immediately started receiving tons of applications. As at the time of making this video, we have received over a thousand applications. How do you choose 8 people out of 1,300 applicants? That's a tough job for me personally but more so for the applicants because the probability of any of these applicants getting the job is so small. So small that even the most qualified person could be disqualified with a simple thing as how he or she writes the mail. But that's just the first chapter of the dictionary. Even after you are employed, then you'll be given what is called the company's policy. Then you'll be technically told how you must live your life. Not really so straightforward but by the time someone tells you when you must resume to the office, the clothes you must wear and in some cases, the makeup to wear, then that's the definition of a god. Yet, most people think that it's easier to be an employee than it is to be an entrepreneur. In today's video, I'm going to prove to you that unlike what most people think, it's actually far easier to be an entrepreneur than it is to be an employee. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Let's start this way. Imagine you're a farmer. Now tell me, which is easier, to plant corn or to plant cocoa? I'm afraid many of you watching this video may not see the picture I'm painting here because you probably have never been to a farm but I'll explain. You see, it does take about 90 days to harvest corn in my country while it takes as long as 3 to 5 years to start harvesting cocoa. So, ordinarily, if I asked you which is easier to plant, corn or cocoa, the answer should be corn, right? Well, you're wrong. What actually happens is that when you plant corn, it grows so fast and in just 90 days, you can harvest your corn. But when you harvest your corn, that is it. It's gone within another 30 days. You have to either eat or sell your corn within one month or it will get dried. However, in the case of cocoa, though it may take you 3 to 5 years before it starts yielding harvest, when it starts yielding a harvest, cocoa can continue making you money for the next 20 years. Job is the corn. When I think about the job and entrepreneurship, the best analogy is that of corn and cocoa. To me, the reason why everyone wants a good job is not because the job is easy, better or more rewarding. The two reasons why people love the job is because first, they are brainwashed by the school system to love the job and second, some people are short-sighted. Don't be offended please, let me explain. While growing up, we all knew certain people who worked for banks, oil companies and other big companies. These people dressed well lived in fine homes and drove good cars. What we didn't know is that most of these people don't like their jobs and most things they used were gotten with loans. Just as when we started envying these people, the school taught us how to become like them. Just study hard and one day, you'll work for a big company. We were deceived. Even for a few people who have the courage to dream of being entrepreneurs, they allowed the temporary pains to make them lose sight of the heaven ahead of them, so they decided to plant corn instead of cocoa. Why entrepreneurship is easy for me? For me, if I'm to live a hundred times, I'd love to be an entrepreneur all of the time because entrepreneurship is far easier for me than a job. And when I said this, most people will think that I'm stupid but hear me out. When I say that entrepreneurship is easy, I didn't mean that it's ABC. Instead, I mean if you can live every day with a picture of your future, you can endure temporary pains. Let me repeat this. If you can live every day of your life with a picture of your desired future, you can endure most things. The reason why most people think that entrepreneurship is hard is that they want to eat their corn now, today. No. Entrepreneurs don't plant corns so they don't have a harvest in 90 days. What entrepreneurs plant is cocoa and that means that they have to wait for 5 long years before any harvest but when the harvest starts coming in, 
entrepreneurs often make more money than they can ever spend in their entire life. Let me ask you this. Why do you think most people want a job? Well, because jobs start paying you almost immediately. For most people, the number one reason why they can't be entrepreneurs is that as entrepreneur, you may not make any money for many years after starting a business. But if you understand what is at the other side of the struggle, then you'll endure the tough times. Student Loan Issue I get it. Many people at age 24 have a big problem and that may be college debt if you live in a country where you get degrees on debt. Most times, you just have to get a job to deal with your debt. But that's still not a good excuse to plant corn. Ever since I was 15, I hardly can count 100 days when my life was separated from the business. Whether I was in school or working a job, I was always mindful of business. If I couldn't do it full-time, I did it part-time. If I couldn't do business at all, I read like crazy about it. For me, business is an obsession. You cannot be obsessed about something and anything will stop you from doing it or from becoming successful doing it. Let's compare the pains. This is why I think the most fortunate people in the world are people who get the jobs they love and get paid for 35 years. When I said this, I mean it. You see, employees who get the jobs they are passionate about and which pays their bills are in the middle of the battles of life. The left is hot and the right is dangerous but they are safe in the middle. Unfortunately, that's only a few people, maybe 10% of adults in the world. Whether you want to be an entrepreneur or you want to be an employee, there are pains involved. However, one pain is right in your control while the other is outside your control. Let me explain this. You see, the whole 8 years I spent suffering in the business world was self-imposed. Though I was going through hell because I voluntarily chose the hell, I could smile even when it was difficult. Even though I was broke and frustrated since nobody forced me to be an entrepreneur, I still remained one of the happiest people in the world. That's similar to what most entrepreneurs go through in the first few years of their enterprise. Though it is always difficult because you look at the mirror each day to see who caused your pain, you can always smile. The opposite is what happens to the employees. A man told me of how he was fired from his job one Friday afternoon. His employer never gave him any notice. I know another woman who lost a job of about 10 years because she stood for the truth. Thousands of people are underpaid. Millions are unemployed. Several others worked so hard but retired poor. You think about this. If you are to choose between two pains, the pain you willingly go into and the pain someone brings to you, which would you choose? That's the reason why I believe entrepreneurship is easier. Though entrepreneurs go through a lot of pains when starting a business, most entrepreneurs purposely chose those pains so it's far easier to bear. For the employees, almost every pain that come your way was never expected. I'd rather voluntarily go to a tough war than to be caught up in an unexpected battle. Let me repeat. I'd rather voluntarily go to a tough war than to be caught up in an unexpected battle. The Excuse About Capital Millions of poor people all over the world have no excuse. I don't have the capital. Well, if you watch this video and truly like yourself, stop making an excuse that the reason why you're not an entrepreneur is that you don't have capital. Entrepreneurs are not people who turn 50 to 100. Entrepreneurs are people who turn 0 to 100. So if you tell me that you don't have capital, it simply means that you are not an entrepreneur yet. Go and be an entrepreneur and you will know how to turn 0 to 100. How do you become an entrepreneur? Read books about money and business. Stop hanging around negative people. Stop being materialistic. Stop trying to look big when you are small. Stop thinking like everyone. Stop blaming the government for your poverty. Make friends with the positive people who believe that they can change their financial situations and be willing to make sacrifices for a few years. Entrepreneurship is about turning zero to a hundred. True entrepreneurs don't complain about the lack of capital. I'll conclude this video here so that it won't be too long. 
If you want me to speak further on this topic, kindly let me know in the comment. If you plant corn, it will grow fast but the harvest won't last. If you plant cocoa, it may take a long time before the harvest but the reward can last forever. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for